Pop. You're listening to Podfabula Productions, a mashup of fiction, non-fiction, ideas, and commentary, created and narrated by your author host, Victor Aquista. Today's episode, One Green Bottle. I start today with a shout out of thanks to author colleague Curtis Baus for reintroducing me to murder, mystery, crime detective stories through his excellent writing. I had strayed from this genre since overdosing on Sherlock Holmes, The Hardy Boys, and Nancy Drew, all during my youth. Reading through his psychological thriller, crime mystery, One Green Bottle, has left me hungry for more sleuthing, especially with the very appealing character he has created in Magali Rousseau, a wonderfully flawed protagonist you are sure to enjoy, who, after an unexpected divorce, embarks upon a new career as a private investigator. Here is the back jacket description. A private detective catches dodgy salesmen and adulterers, right? Wrong. Magali Rousseau's first case, and it's murder. Then comes another, and another, until she finds herself trapped with a killer whose only aim is to make her his tenth and final victim. Set in France, Provence, One Green Bottle is not just about the hunt for a serial killer. It's also the story of a woman in search of a new life. But in a man's world, she can only succeed by defeating her own doubts. Magali Rousseau, private investigator, female sleuth, clever, French, funny and feisty, a woman worth getting to know. Without further delay, I give you an excerpt from One Green Bottle by Curtis Bowes. Murder? he said, eyes popping. Much of his career had been spent as a school inspector. The most serious case he'd dealt with was that of a teacher who'd posted salacious pictures of his daughter on the Internet. You're not actually thinking of taking it on. I'm not thinking of anything for the moment. I'm simply asking your opinion. Magali gave him a mischievous smile. Asking, in other words, for a good reason why I shouldn't. Antoine was happy to comply. Well, if that's all you want, I can give you several. First, as you've said yourself, you have no experience, which means you don't know where to begin and no one will take you seriously. Second, you have no idea where it will land you. Murderers tend to be dangerous. And finally, you aren't, in any case, a private detective. So it's illegal. It's as if I put up a sign saying I'm a doctor and started prescribing medicine to whoever came my way. Well, yes, I've thought of all that. They're common sense arguments. So what sort of arguments do you want? Nonsensical? No, it's just when you think of it. And so Pearl murdered, twenty-four years old. Where's the common sense in that? His mother's desperate. I dare say she is, but murderers don't get solved by abandoning common sense. Haven't you read your Sherlock?" Magali nodded. She hadn't expected anything different from this eminently sensible man, but to hear the words spoken and see his worried, earnest expression brought it home to her how silly it would be. I suppose you're right. That's why I came here, to have you talk sense into me. You've already set yourself up as a therapist. What next? A hedge fund manager? I don't want to have to be visiting you in prison. Antoine placed a hand on her arm. And one more piece of advice, if I may. What's that? Take that plaque down today, before you get into trouble. When she got home, she prized the private detective plaque away from the plank with a screwdriver then removed the nails with a pair of pincers. She had put the plaque in the drawer of an old chest in the garage. Then she had a cup of tea, 
before returning to the still life she'd been battling with for days. She worked for twenty minutes. Matisse, an imaginary presence at her shoulder, sniggering. Nice apple, that. Just like the ones I did myself. The bowl could be a bit brighter, though. She gave a sigh of exasperation and fetched the business card from her desk. She picked up her phone. Madame Pearl? This is Magali Rousseau. I wanted to let you know I've decided to take on your case. There was a momentary pause. Thank you, she said, and please, call me Charlotte. Now that I've wet your appetite, let me share three reader reviews from Amazon. Curtis Bowes has created a mature female private detective who can hold her own with the likes of Miss Marble and Agatha Raisin. In an intriguing, intelligent, well-crafted, and engrossing story, Magali observes, doubts, sifts evidence, thinks, confers, and manages to solve an apparently unconnected series of murders to the chagrin of those whose job it is to investigate such events. I have just finished reading One Green Bottle, the first in the Magali Rousseau series, and enjoyed it so much that I bought the second book. The author gives the private detective genre a new twist, with his protagonist falling into the profession as a joke and finding that her life becomes much too serious as a result. The book is a real page-turner, with action, suspense, and realistic, believable characters. Anyone who enjoys a good story with plot twists and surprises that still manages to explore deeper questions about the nature of good and evil will love this book. I really enjoyed what felt like a really good old-fashioned detective story in the mold of a Miss Marple mystery, with the leading character, Magali, having the same sort of slightly bumbling from the outside but with hidden depths of sharpness persona. I was kept guessing right up until the end. Incidentally, Curtis is Welsh, and he lives in France. I am so pleased to introduce listeners to this very talented author and give the show a bit of international flavor. I'm including information in the show notes with links to his website and author page. I've saved this last bit of good news for the end. Once you read One Green Bottle and are hooked, there are three subsequent Magali Rousseau mysteries that you are sure to want to solve. They are all packaged together in The Pearl Quartet, the complete Magali Rousseau mystery series box set which only became available last month. <laughs> That does it for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. I also want to thank you for spreading the word about Podfabula Productions. You can learn more about me and the show on my website, www.writingtoraiseconsciousness.com. Follow me on Twitter and participate in the fan base by checking out Podfabula Productions on Facebook, where shows are archived for discussion and comments. You can subscribe to the podcast series on YouTube. Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, and other download platforms. Finally, please stop by my Amazon author page and check out my nonfiction and fiction books and short stories. Until next time! <laughs>